Good day, fine people. We are here to talk to you about the Rucker Remo R, which is actually a very interesting, very impressive jacket, despite it not having any thermal lining or armor. So what the hell am I going on about? Best you come back after this and find out. touch cordura because that's what this is the outside here is soft touch cordura and then here like on the shoulders and the elbows we have the 500d version which is like a thicker more kind of protective weave and then hidden in here we have the Gore-Tex two-layer laminate system and then we get to the really interesting stuff and what is this interesting stuff well it's kind of great because this is, as you can probably tell, an adventure jacket. This is for people that like to go off and do adventure type stuff. And when we say that, we actually mean people who go off and do adventure type stuff. So that actually means taking your £20,000 adventure bike off-road. <gasps> yeah, I'd be scared too if I paid that much for a bike. But the point of this jacket is, is they give you the best they can, essentially, as an outer. And then it's down to you to start customizing it personally to how you like it. Okay, I want some elbow armor. No problem. There is the D3O armor available that you can buy for it. Same goes for the back, same goes for the shoulders, but maybe you don't want it. Maybe you prefer the freedom of movement. The whole point is it's up to you. And like we said, right at the start, no thermal lining. Because you may have those times where you're actually on a long ride back where you're not doing a great deal, you're not moving about, you're sat on just A-roads or motorways or something after having all your off-road fun, and you don't want to get cold. So what you can actually do is get a Rucker Down jacket, one of those little thermal lovely numbers that you pop, you can pop in after you've been climbing mountains or whatever, you pop that in and then you can be warm on your way home. Now, to also make it easier to get something underneath and still have room there is a huge amount of adjustability here you have three levels of adjustment on the arms we have vents are plenty when you're sweating trying to get over a, a boulder or again whatever people like to do we have a little pocket here you can slip something in that is waterproof or probably more likely water resistant and as we've explained in other videos that means it's water resistant if you don't do the zip up properly. Also have more venting here. We have two big pockets here to keep your sandwiches in. We have here, look, even more adjustment. So say you've got this in and it's quite tight and you finish your thingy, you want to put your down jacket in, pop, pop, a little bit more room, down jacket, jacket on, still as comfortable as it was without it. And then on the back here, nice big pocket on the back more adjustment here towards the back of the waist and we have of course a nice big vent for all that nasty sweatiness to get out from so all in all bearing in mind we haven't even opened the jacket yet i think you can probably appreciate just how this is this is almost like this is almost like a blank slate so they've gone here's the good thing it's brilliant now it's up to you how far you take it from here. And that will depend on you, what you do, and how far you go with the adventure life. Now, as I stroke this lovely soft neoprene collar and pop open with, that's good, listen to that, ready? Oh, some good Velcro right there. And what we find is a YKK zip. They are the best, and they are the best for a reason. So we open this up. And we zip down, and what do we find when we have a look inside? Well, one of the first things I've noticed here are two pockets inside, and they have these, what I'm starting to really like now, the, the, the tabs are ergonomically designed, so it just, it just fits your finger. You put it like that, and you go, oh, that's nice. Zip it down like that. And there's another one that side. And then we have this. I don't know if you can see this here. This is the air tech lining. It helps to kind of wick away moisture, you know, that kind of thing. But it is really, really good material. And, well, 
course it is, it's Rucker, and they don't use materials that aren't great. So there we go. Now then, like I said earlier about adding armor, there is another option that you can do. And that is, you can include the RPS vest. But what is the RPS shirt slash vest of Benjamin? Well, it's kind of made uh, of like a meshy kind of material, very breathable. What it has is D3O XTR armor inside where you need it. So you can have elbows, back, shoulders. And what you can do is slip that on and then slip this on over and you're done. Or not, or you can buy the armor and put it in the pockets that comes here. And if you actually, if you want to know more about that shirt slash vest, check this link out right here. Size wise, these comes in UK sizes 40 to 48 and color wise, well, this is it. So if you like this color, winner. Now then, if you want to know more information about this jacket, there's one place you will need to go and it is also the place you need to go to turn your two year warranty into a six year warranty. And that place is bikerheads.co.uk.